My plan was to put this sheet steel, something like this, on the side of the trailer. And when I went to buy sheet steel, it was really expensive. And um, I asked if they had anything else, because, you know, I'm cheap and everything, or if they had any scraps. And if they didn't have anything, I even thought about using wood. But, you know, wood's really expensive too right now. And he had a bunch of this diamond plate. I thought, that's awesome. Not only will the diamond plate, like, look, I think, good, it'll probably last longer. And if it's on the sides, it will make it lighter to tip down. Because if you've ever watched any of those videos or tipped any of the sides down on those dump trailers, they're pretty heavy. It's actually kind of humorous when you watch a salesman or a marketing guy, like, say, oh, the trailer's got tipped down sides, and they do it, and it about takes their arm off. So I'm going to use this diamond plate. I'm not sure if I made a video of it or not. This is how I cut the sides. I just uh, vice grip two pieces together and then uh, mark the length. And then I'm just using a regular skill saw blade. It looks like it's carbide 60. It was actually whatever was in the saw. So thanks, Pops. And saw. I should add, safety squinting or safety glasses is a must for this technique. Okay, I'm cutting the... A diamond plate here for the sides and I couldn't really come up with a good way of fastening it um, I have these screws that I freaking hate these self tappers and I'm gonna try these out okay just an update on these self tappers they don't quite have the jam to get uh, through I mean they will but not every time so I end up pre-drilling with an eighth inch drill bit and then putting the screws in and uh, praying that I don't snap them off and I don't know if your experience with self tappers, uh, I've never used Phillip ones like this before. I've only ever used the, like the hex zip screws. They're way cooler. Use those, not these. Practically an expert screwer now. I've done so many. I'm gonna put expert self-tapping screwing expert on my resume now. So good. Screw around. Every time when I was a little dead, I always said I quit screwing. Okay, here you can see a lot of my goodies I got for doing my trailer wiring. I already had some of this stuff. Um, Probably the more important things was the Chinese uh, light boxes. Uh, I'm not sure if I showed mounting those, but uh, maybe I'll show those right now. Just welded those on just like this. Okay, what I plan to do is have this be the plug-in. I'm not sure if I'm gonna run um, this into the box where the hydraulic unit is or just put it on the frame and then i'm going to run a whole nother line to the back of the trailer and probably mount another box on the the frame that actually moves because that's where all the lights are on and then uh, hook everything up from there but we got these you know conduit clamps and a few other things to hold stuff up these are just the push-in lights for three quarter inch holes yeah, it's pretty standard stuff. Just working on these light boxes and I'm shoving some grommets in here. Let's see how that goes. Here I am wiring these lights here in the corner and uh, it makes me laugh a little bit because I'm trying to you know, do a somewhat decent job because as a kid, we would always have to make sure we were home before dark because dad's trailer lights would never work. And uh, we'd always mess with the lights before we'd leave anyways and they were always just like, wire knots or whatever he could find. He was always too lazy to wire them well. Well, hopefully I'm learning my lesson here. My goodness. Tonight we are wiring and I hate it. I'm not good at it, but I'm like super particular. So then I get a, what kind of looks neat, but doesn't work good job. You can see how the hydraulic line, I just ran it in the C channel and then I uh, just use a self tapper. And then these are two uh, three quarter inch conduit clamps. Okay, here you can see the wiring. These boxes are actually pretty sweet. Um, bought this off Amazon. Uh, here, this is the plug-in end. 
It's a pretty long cord. Comes in here. They already terminated everything on the terminals there. And uh, I ran, uh, it'd be like auxiliary power, the brakes and all that, out here, wrapped it around. And then um, <clears throat> everything that would go to like charge the battery, all that, the breakaway controller, it all goes up here and uh, sneaks up into the toolbox where the hydraulic line is. And then I just ran the brakes along the hydraulic lines and you can see those. All right, I'm not sure if I talked about this, but uh, these junction box definitely decrease the suck factor on wiring trailers. So you should definitely do it. Um, I ran a, this is just a seven wire cable from the front, which is up there. You can kind of see it right there all the way back. And that just puts a junction box on the top frame, you know, cause there's a pivot here. And then uh, there's also one over there where the trailer plug-in is. So, yeah. For those of you that are good at like power tapping with a drill, bravo, because I suck at it. Okay, I'm gonna admit this wiring is a lot worse than I thought it was gonna be. I don't have the right colors, so get myself all boogered up. Interesting enough, the light emitting diode got me. It's get out of here, pooch. It's the uh, ground wire on this light is black, but that doesn't work. This light, you have to switch it around. Wish there was some uh, consistency between these cheap lights, but. Then again, then I'd be paying money. <laughs> well, I got everything wired up. It all works, except I can't get the charging to work. And I don't have backup lights. Turns out I checked it on the truck. They don't work on there either. So I guess I'll have to buy a new truck. Okay, here's a quick overview on the wiring. Um, here you can see the, the brake release. I mounted, I just self tapper that to the frame. Still all twisted up like a boy on prom night. That's just cause I don't plan on actually using it. Don't tell anybody. I might wrap it around the chain just to make it look like it's being used, but I don't want to put my faith in it. Um, never had good luck with them. In fact, I've only used like one or two trailers in my life where they worked. Uh, the plug-in struggled actually to get it into the plug-in on one of my pickups but it, it was nice and long worked pretty good i ran everything into that junction box like i showed that's right there and then you can see where the wires come in for the charge controller here then i ran everything back along that frame rail for the brakes another box that comes over to here so there's a junction box behind that tube there. And I ran, I believe it's four wires there and then four wires to the other light and then just two and two. It's kind of nice because if you screw up, you can just go into that junction box and re-terminate the wires. Um, once I got the wires into the box, I think I showed it, but I cut a hole into the tube and then ran the wires all the way back up to the front right here and for mounting everything i used conduit clamps and i just tapped the side of the frame there you go there's an overview well thanks for watching